Okay, Sakia really brought the fan service this episode again with the pokes here. But anyways, to get into the latest episode of Code Geass, Rose of the Recapture, episode 6. So really can't, you know, play too much or do anything really here because DMCA. But uh, besides the fan service shot we got there this episode, we start off the episode with... Well, besides the badass soundtrack, which I, you know, the running in my head, which by the way is a great soundtrack. Let's not forget that. It's one of the favorite, my favorite things about the series. But anyway, you know, we start off Norlin and the Kristoff guy, who are, you know, the main antagonists of the series. They don't seem really bothered by the Damocles being destroyed in the previous episode, which, uh, you know, you can see right here. Where's the Damocles? Uh, so they're all, they're thinking Nina. Well, I can't really show it anyway, so it really don't matter. But the Damocles is destroyed. They avert the Damocles' destruction. Oh, yeah, I forgot that. Fan service shot here this episode as well. But, yeah, they thank Nina. She's like, yes, I finally destroyed the Damocles and the Flayas. Even though, like, these Flayas couldn't even really do anything. They were, like, nowhere near nuke level. Uh, they were just kind of, like, glorified big big bombs, to be honest. Like, they were really nothing to be worried about. Uh, Sakia or her double is, you know still depressed that she's powerless as empress she's talking to that bratty girl the fan service neo britannian girl she decides to you know the, the bratty girl gets pissed she puts this other creepy guy named walter in charge of guarding the empress now and uh that's when we we get to it's we get to that later we also got some flashbacks of like the neo britannians and um apparently like the reason a lot of them hate the Japanese, we got more backstory on that, is because they were discriminated against after the Zero, Re Zero Requiem, which makes a lot of sense because everybody hated Britannia when Lelouch was emperor. So, that, so now the people were being racist against the Britannians, giving them a taste of their own medicine for what they did to the Japanese. And this is why Neo-Britannians now are continuing the cycle of hatred. So that was kind of interesting, giving us a little bit of backstory here. You know, we had Ash go to the cafe where he runs into Sakia again. Um, then, you know, after he leaves, we get to uh, see him run into that Neo-Britannian girl with the red hair. I forget her name, but she's kind of like the um, uh, I f Cornelia. She's kind of like Cornelia of this series. And she basically finds out, you know, she knows who Ash is. They know about him, but she doesn't know that he's under control of Gios yet. The Walter guy, he listens in on... Um, Sakia's body double who's the empress with the other chick that was guarding the former emperor and he catches on that she's not who she claims to be which again that we get that later in the episode which we uh he sneaks in into the bath with Sakia's double where we get another fan server shot of her in the bath right here the fan server shot of the episode and, you know, he basically tells her he knows who, who she is. So Jig is up, which I'm sure the Norland guy already knows because, like, they're hyping this Norland guy up to be, like, this eyes and level guy who, like, fore foresees everything. Everything was according to his plan. So, and also we find out that Ash was, like, his stepson or something this episode. Honestly, this episode, there wasn't a lot of action, but, you know, it, it was okay. You know, we got more backstory, which we kind of need because, again, the foundation of this series a lot of it's kind of up in the air. It's like, what the hell is going on? But, um, yeah, that was my quick review of this episode. Don't forget to like. It is greatly appreciated. Don't get to forget to follow. It's greatly appreciated. I'm going to have a Game of Thrones review out later. Wherever you are, have a fantastic day, and peace out.